Well, Chris, let, let's talk about uh, another the the final thing you can't control here that we're going to uh, that we're going to uh, discuss are uh, broad match keywords and loose search terms. So um, let's talk about broad match keywords first. You and I are warming up as the months, as the years go on, every month that goes by, I'm warmer and warmer to always trying a broad keyword campaign. Mm. Um, they're getting better and better and they can bring in high volume. They can bring in a lower cost per click and things just seem to be getting better. Google's doing a better job of knowing who the user is, what they're interested in, and then showing you on the right kind of searches. If you're going to loosen things up and run broad match, there's obviously a lot you can't control. But that doesn't mean that broad match sometimes cannot sometimes it doesn't mean that it doesn't sometimes bring in not only conversions, but conversions that actually become paying customers at a high rate. So just kind of talk about the mindset of giving up control when you run broad match or maybe you disagree. Maybe there are some things you can't control. What do you kind of look for when you run pure broad? Yeah, so if you're running pure broad, I'm going to ignore the bidding factor and what kind of bidding you're using and stuff like that. But let's just say pure broad, no matter what the bidding structure is, um, you immediately have to give up control on quality, at least from day one. Okay, now day 50, day 60, not so much. I'll, I'll talk about that. But day one, day two, three, four, you know, the first half of the month, you're going to give up a lot of quality. But... The part you can control, and, and this is what I love about broad keywords and, and use them sparingly and carefully, but I do love broad keywords. They can be shaped and molded with negative keywords. I can take a broad keyword and use negative keywords to push something left or right to kind of try and fit it through a, through a pinhole that would not be possible with a whole bunch of phrase and exact match. I may yeah. never be able to find that pinhole if you know, I don't use a broad match because the broad match can go everywhere, and as soon as it lands in that one spot, oh, that's good, and then I found it, you know. But I may never right. be able to find it with so you lose control, but there's so much more possibility there. But you have to understand that the broad keyword is not the place to stay. And, and we just talked about it a minute ago, you, you can easily become addicted to that high spend, high volume, and the reports will tell you all down arrows. Change those to phrase match and everything's going to go down. You're going to get higher CPC, which is a red arrow pointing up. You're going to get uh, lower impressions, which is a red arrow pointing down. Less clicks, red arrow pointing down. I mean, these things are going to look intimidating. They're going to look bad because you're gaining control and losing volume. But, you know, this is, this is all part of it. Um, I do like broad match, but you have to understand what you don't control and what you do control. Yeah. And there's also another uh, aspect to what you can't control these days. And that is weird search terms that come in from good keywords. Um, so, it, and it's, it's the decision that you make when you get those weird search terms. So let me give you an example, Chris. Um, let's say you do like the word, and we're kind of getting away from the more nuanced searches, but let's say you really like the word real estate attorney Dallas phrase match. And you get a lot of real estate attorney real estate lawyer dallas kind of searches that you get and it works out but let's say you you start getting a little bit of volume to the search term lawyers in dallas like a very small amount of volume your keyword is real estate attorney dallas phrase match you are a real estate attorney but they're choosing to show you on the search lawyers in dallas every now and then and you're actually getting leads from that yeah um you can control this in the sense that you can add the word lawyers in Dallas as a negative exact match and not let them show you on this anymore. However, it is 2022 and Google does seem to be getting better and better about the user and the person behind the search. And I think there's something to them going, oh, well, we actually think it's likely that this person doing a general lawyer search in Dallas actually is looking for help with real estate because we saw they just did a bunch of searches about real estate or we saw they've been on a lot of real estate websites. Therefore, we're going to allow that to show on your real estate attorney Dallas phrase match keyword because we think it's a good person for you behind that more general lawyers in Dallas search and check your conversion column. You might be getting good conversions from it, uh, but you might not see that on the first click the first time you see it in your search terms report. And if you add it as a negative, 
all of a sudden, like a exact match negative, you're not going to give it a chance to see if you can get conversions yeah. from it. So have you run into that where you see some bad looking search terms come in from keywords and then obviously we've all seen that, but like, have you had the thought like, oh, maybe I shouldn't block this yet because maybe there's a reason they're showing me on it. Um, what do you think you about know, that line of thinking? It is, it is the scariest kind of control that you lose because lack of control without lack of proof of quality is probably the scariest thing. Yeah. Um, because if I see something converting on a keyword that makes no sense about what I should be advertising for, I'm always in lockup mode. Like, do I block it? Do I target it? Do I do nothing? What mm -hmm. do I do? Do I leave it? Do I block this? You know, and then and then I'm I'm left, you know, wondering. And then let's say I leave it, and then the client starts to you know, you know, look around the search terms, and they're like, "Why am I getting so many searches for lawyers in Dallas?" And this isn't yeah. valuable to me, you know. So then I'm like, "Well, it's converting, and I don't know if it's good or not," you know. So yeah, it's it's the scariest lack of control because it's lack of control plus positive response. And the the hard thing about it is when we look at search terms report and we see search terms that bring in conversions, then we think, Oh, add those as keywords. Yeah. But my theory here, I don't know if it's correct or not, but my theory is that you're going to get different traffic with the search lawyers in Dallas. If you add that as a keyword versus if they choose to show it as a search term every now and then on real estate attorney Dallas phrase match, because That's a you're, theory. because what we've learned and discussed a lot on this show is with the responsive search ads, what, yeah. what the other half you can't see is what headline did they show? Did the person search lawyers in Dallas and the headline in the responsive search ad was real estate attorney in Dallas? And that's what they, they clicked on. Um, you know, I mean, that that's a good qualifier. You know, you don't know exactly what ad they saw, but, uh, you know, that that can be a a real factor. So, yeah, I mean, absolutely. A and I'm going to the, the phrase match definition uh, from Google Ads help. The meaning of... A, a keyword match type phrase match that allows you to show your ads on searches that include the meaning of your keyword. The meaning of the keyword can be implied and user searches can be more specific form, be a more specific form of the meaning. This allows you to reach more searches than with exact match and fewer than with broad match. Uh, with phrase match, a user's word order matters only when it changes the intended meaning. When you use phrase match, you get, Here's what I'm getting at. Your ads get to the right users without the creation of an extensive list of keywords and phrases. So, again, it's just theory, but I have seen it where more open kind of keywords come in from, from searches, search terms come in from phrase match, and then they start producing conversions, and I'm hesitant to block them because I have a theory that they might be coming in for a reason. So yeah. that's something you can't really control. You can't tell it, hey, only show me on this open this level on phrase match versus this open this level on phrase match you just get three choices phrase exact and broad yeah. um and the meaning yeah. of those kind of change over time yeah maybe we're headed we towards a, a world in you know 2023 2024 where google changes keyword to add new topics to this campaign they don't even call them keywords anymore because a keyword is a misnomer it's no longer a word to word idea it's now a yeah. topic to idea add new ideas to this campaign well that's pretty much display keywords yeah yeah that's what it is